So from the work we learned in 6.3, we should or you should now have a little bit of knowledge about what the slope intercept form of an equation for a linear uh, relation is. So you should have some kind of idea that if we have an equation in this form, y equals mx plus b, that m is our slope and that B, this number here, is our y-intercept. That's why this form of the equation is called the slope-intercept form of the equation. It's sometimes referred to as the slope-y-intercept form of the equation. So make sure that you're a little bit familiar with both. So we're going to be working with this form of the equation for the next uh, section here, uh, 6.4 the slope intercept form of an equation for a linear function. First question, is the point 3, 2 on each of the given lines? Now this this question here and the next one actually don't really relate to the slope intercept form but they're the beginning steps on getting into into it all. So the first thing you need to realize is that if you're ever given a point and you have an equation to determine whether or not that point is on that line if we graphed it out, we'd be able to see the point. But if we don't want to graph it out, then all we have to do is substitute in these values for x and y and calculate to see if the equation still holds true. And these are the rules that I've given you here. Substitute the point x, y into x and y in the equation. Step two, if it holds true, then it's on the line. If not, then it's not on the line. So let's see how that works. So we have the equation y is equal to 2x minus 4 and we're trying to see if this point 3 2 is on this line this is an x coordinate this is a y coordinate so we're going to substitute both the x and the y into their respective positions in the equation so this being the x 3 is going to go in for x this being the y 2 is going to go in for y so my new equation looks like this 2 is equal to 2 times 3 minus 4. All I've done is substituted in the x and the y. Now I simply work out both the left and the right hand side of the equal sign and see if it holds true. Well nothing changes on the left hand side. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 minus 4 is 2. So yes this holds true. So yes this point 3 2 3 2 is on the line y is equal to 2x minus 4. Okay, Simply stated, substitute in, see if it holds true. If it's true, then it's on the line. Sometimes we call that being a solution. So if we ever get a chance to look at inequalities, well, things change a little bit, but if it lies on the line, it is a solution. So question B, y is equal to 1 minus x. Again, we're still checking that same point. What was that same point? 3, 2? 3, 2. So I'm going to substitute in 2 for y is equal to 1 minus 3. Well, 2 is equal to, well, 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Those are not equal. I'm going to change that to a big red x. These are not equal. Okay. So it does not hold true. Because it's not true, this point, let me make it nice and formal. 3, 2 is not on the line. Y is equal to 1 minus X. That's an ugly Y. Okay. Testing to see if a point is falls on a line. Take that point, substitute it into the equation. See if it holds true. If it holds true, it's on the line. If it doesn't hold true, it's not on the line. 